Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying to go live and I'm trying to figure this out because it's changed since the last time that I've done a live, which has been a while. It's also one o'clock in the morning, so I don't think I'll have anyone join, if anything, like one person. But I didn't really want to edit this video much, and I um, just want to get it out there. So, today I'm going to be giving you guys an Ulta haul. everything out of the bag because I didn't want to make too much noise. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to edit this, so I just wanted to get it out. And I'm sorry my heater just turned on because it's winter here and it's really cold outside. So I'm going to start with my, I don't want to say least favorite, but kind of least favorite thing out of everything. And that's this voluminous feline mascara. Just looks like that. And it actually doesn't have a sticker, so I don't know what color it is. Oh, no, actually, it's black. So, the reason I'm not a huge fan is it's a dryer mascara, and usually I am a fan of dryer mascaras, but for some reason, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. So that was that. It's got a rubber, rubber wand. And like I said, I don't know if I just, I wasn't a fan of it. So that was the first thing. The next thing that I got was this Morphe sponge. And I actually haven't taken it out of the packaging so it's still on me. And this is the highlight and contour sponge by Morphe. And I'm not a huge fan of their company, so the only thing that I have of them is this sponge, which I really enjoy. So I bought another one because the other one's really old. And then I have their Jaclyn Hill palette. But other than that, nothing has attracted me to the brand. Everything just seems like the same. I don't know if you guys feel the same about Morphe. I just feel like it's been over advertised and at a point it's just too much advertisement and it kind of kills the enjoyment that you have of the brand.
hope you can be able to hear it. So this is the highlighting contour sponge and I've only tried this shape so I don't know if the other shape is good but this one is and I like it. And then I also got my favorite mascara or my favorite foundation on sale. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 228. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear the audio. I hope so. I have one viewer. Welcome. Really didn't think I was going to get any views because it is super late. I mean, I don't know where everyone else would watch from, but it's like one in the morning here. So these don't make too much noise, but still wanted to share them. Then I got three highlighters. From Wet n Wild. YouTube has changed a lot since I've done a, li a live, so I'm trying to figure out the settings here. I got the colors Blossom Glow. Which I haven't opened yet. Precious Petals. And that is gold color. And oh, these are actually the same. I have another one with their new collection. It's up there somewhere. And then I haven't opened this one. This is Blossom Glow. And this is, um, the lighting in here sucks. But this is a more pink, gold, duochrome. And it's lighter, too. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference.
Night Eyes. I'm really hoping the audio is, you guys can hear that, once it actually transfers to YouTube. Those aren't too interesting, but I did get those. I really like the formula. Now my favorite thing, and the thing that I think you guys will like the most, noise-wise, is this Dose of Colors, Jesse and Katie. Heater finally turned off. And the glitter does come off a little bit. I just won't be able to tell. But the glitter does come off. Just a little bit. Not enough to get noxious. I think I paid like $34 for this. It was on sale. But I definitely would pay full price. Because it's really, really good. If you like sparkly things. watching now. Hello, welcome to this random live video at one in the morning. So this is what the inside looks like. Super sparkly. The shades are really smooth. Really pretty. Yeah, like I said, I do recommend this a lot. It's really pretty and really good. Also, I cut my hair since I think the last time I did a video. Cut like this much off my hair. But just in case you guys were interested in this palette, it's really good. I really hope you guys can hear this.
Alright, so last thing I want to show you guys is actually from the Tarte website. And it is the Tartlet Blush Book. And it also is textured. It has sparkles all through it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can feel the sparkle. This blush book belongs to Tartlet. Again, it's by Tarte. The back is just plain. It's all on its sides, but you can see the glitter better. it opens. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. four blush shades on this side and a highlight and then four blushes on this side and a bronzer this inside is also textured with that glitter and all the blushes are matte. Oops, I'm sorry. All the blushes are matte except that color right there, which has a little bit of sparkle. Such a pretty palette. I hate this plastic cover, but I feel like you need it because of how it closes in on itself. You don't want all these shades touching that right there. Do you guys like scratching noises better or tapping noises? You guys could leave that in the comments. Once this video goes on YouTube. I usually like tapping better, but I know a lot of people like scratching noises. So let me know what you guys are interested in. And also, I got new clothes for sweaters actually. But I don't know if you guys would be interested in a clothing haul because they don't really make noise, so just again let me know in the comments below.
Hello, Jesse. Thank you for joining me at one o'clock in the morning here, for me at least. Sorry guys, like I said, my heater's kicking back on, on and off a lot throughout this because it's really cold outside. We actually just got out of a polar vortex. 11.42, it's really, yeah, it's 1.43 here where I live. But yeah, we actually just got out of a polar polar vortex where it was like negative 53 degrees with wind chill. That was rough. I actually tried filming this video yesterday, but the baby woke up, so it got postponed to today. I think I like this one better. Yeah, I think it's um like 20 degrees outside right now, but it was last, I think last week it was negative fi like 50 with wind chill actually canceled work and schools and a lot of things. So yeah, that was everything that I got so far. really hope the audio is coming through with my heater being so loud. It is really cute. This packaging sucked me in. So this year, I decided I'm gonna make it a schedule to either make a video or go live at least once a week because I feel like if I don't actually have a schedule to do this then I just won't post and I won't hold myself accountable and I really like doing videos I think I like doing lives a lot so I think I'm gonna post either Wednesdays or Thursdays, either a video or a live, and that way you guys have a new video every week. Also, I'm gonna do an order from Sigma, so I will be having a brush haul coming probably for next week. Although we are having another snowstorm where I live this weekend, so that'll be fun. So yeah, 
that's everything I got from these highlighters. The other shade is up there, like I said, so I don't want to get that right now, but I'll show it to you guys in a future video. Some Morphe sponge. <laughs> that's funny, Jesse. I know a lot of cities that if it snows or it rains, everything shuts down, but not here. Everything goes on. It snows on and off like every weekend until... Have I ever watched Batala's ASMR? No, I haven't actually. I have a really bad habit that I find ASMR people and I stick to them religiously and I'll watch and watch and watch their videos over and over again um, it's just really hard to find what you're looking for in the ASMR community and I really like the raw like at home unedited like old school ASMR videos and I feel like it's really hard to find that nowadays so I tend to just stick to my like old school people I guess that still haven't transitioned into the super tech stuff but that's just personal preference I do like ASMR Planet. I just discovered her, I want to say, two months ago. She's really good. And she has, like, new tech stuff, but at the same time, it's very homey and, like, raw. And I really enjoy her. So, I would look her up if you like that kind of stuff. Um, I think her actual name is ASMR Planet good and she posts a lot like she she has really good dedication I really like how this sounds I hope that you guys enjoyed it it's super like I'm just in the baby's room I'm filming on a box right now it's just really cold to film in my beauty room downstairs so I just sat from over here enjoyed it. It's going to be a 30 minute video, which I did not expect. I'm glad you enjoyed the background, Jesse. I said, oh, definitely going to be, um, hi, Treaty 6. How's it going? Um, I'll be doing a live or just a normal video every week, Wednesday or Thursday, so just look out for that, and um, I will definitely be accountable this time. So expect a video on those days. That's my new schedule, and again, in the comments down below, once this video uploads to YouTube, make sure you guys let me know what you guys want to see, because now they will be coming every week. Bye guys.